this can get messy and blame Excel by Joe for this. ExcelbyJoe.com, good guy, does a lot of tutorials, really smart guy with Excel, go check out his website. Now recently he did a tutorial on calculating commissions. So it took me back to the olden days when I was a commissions analyst. And I wanted to talk about data modeling because commissions can get complex and modeling is more than just getting math right. Modeling is taking a concept, somebody's words, and turning that into something that Excel will get right. So it's one thing to say, your commissions is going to be 8%. Okay, great. That's easy to calculate, it's straightforward. But then you start wanting to incentivize people and say up to a certain point, you get this rate. Up to another point, you get another rate. And then you get another rate. And you've got a quota. And the levels are based on percentages of quotas. Okay, now you've got something that's more complex. It's not just straightforward multiplication. In this example, we have Maureen. Maureen gets paid 5% up to 80% of quota, then 7.4% up to 85% of quota, and anything over 100% of quota is 9.7%. Great, we have Maureen sales. Her quota is $95,000. So you realize that Maureen is at 89.3% up to 95%. She gets paid 8% up to 85% of quota. She gets paid 7.4%. So she should get paid 8%, right? No. You take that to the vice president of sales and he says, no, that's not what he meant. He meant for it to be broken down into tiers. So to model this, we need to break this up into steps and not try to put this into a big complex formula. Putting it in a big complex formula would be hard to build. It would be hard to troubleshoot. It would be hard to see if anything's wrong. Here we have to get our percent breakdowns. What would be 80% of the quota equals the 95,000 so F4 because we're going to move this formula and we need our absolute sale reference times this 80%. Let's bring this down. So at 100%, we got 95,000, 95,000. Good. Now we need our differences between $0 and $76,000 is $76,000. So we need to just say equals this amount. Now we need the difference between the previous tier and the next tier equals 80,750 minus, good, same thing, equals minus and minus, and equals 100% minus, There are levels. Now it gets tricky. We need to say equals, equals if the actual is greater than this tier, then 
bring back the difference. Otherwise, bring back the actual. Okay. Next equals if the actual is greater than this next level then bring back this amount otherwise bring back the actual minus the amount awarded in that first tier equals if the actual is greater than the amount in this next level then bring back that amount comma the commissions minus what's already been awarded in the previous tiers. So we see what's happening. Because we're maxed out in the first two levels, now we have a portion of the maximum of 9,500 in this tier. Now let's highlight this and see. Good. We've got a total of $84,843 accounted for in the tally, and that is the actual amount. We have to finish this up. Equals if the commission is greater than the next level, then bring back that amount. Comma, otherwise, the commission minus what's already been applied in the previous levels. Next, we need to do the calculation for 100% equals if the actual is greater than the quota then calculate the actual minus quota otherwise zero good now let's calculate the commission payment equals the first level times the five percent drag the formula down and Maureen's commission payment should be the four thousand four hundred seventy eight dollars and ninety four cents now let's play with the numbers I'm gonna go over here and freeze the pane so that we can scroll and let's add more sales for Maureen five thousand dollars she's at ninety four Point six percent of quota and should be paid now the 4878 now we've crossed over the 95 percent and now she's being paid some portion of her sales at the 9.5 rate and now we're over a hundred percent we're at 104.6 percent She's being paid 9.7% for that amount that is over 100%, and that's the 4343. And her total commission payment should be $5,084.02. A lot of work. It's a lot of thinking that has to go into this. It's interpreting language. You can get the words, and then you take it to the person to line that up against their intention and then there might be something different. So there you go. 
Thank you, Excel by Joel, for bringing up this commissions issue. It brought me back. And thanks for what you do. And remember, everybody keep your data clean.